Welcome everyone back to another YouTube video now guys in today's video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking up with Maxton Design and getting a front splitter on my BMW M140i. So Maxton Design have actually kindly sent me out a care package kind of thing and it basically comes with like loads of right stickers for the car, uh, a pen, a few badges, also a car air freshener as well uh, but in here there was also a jumper and also this t-shirt here which looks pretty cool so I really appreciate that. I thought I'd wear it for the video um, to kind of show a bit more support but that is pretty cool and also they sent me out the v1 front splitter so that is going to sit on the bottom of the car absolutely perfect we've also got all the screws and stuff and the uh, instructions for that as well and then the other modification we're going to be doing to the car is we're going to be covering the front grills in mesh now a lot of people complained on my old video saying well the previous video saying why didn't you cover your grills with mesh whilst you had the bumper off but i knew i was going to do this way back i've, I've had this grill for ages so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it to shape and then cover it and basically zip tie it on so it holds on. But yeah, it should look a lot better and it also protects my new radiator at the same time. I, I honestly think this is a must have for pretty much all M Light owners or even any car really um, if you want to look after the grills because it just stops leaves and big stones. And foxes and badges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And rodents. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Maxton Design. The fact that I'm working with Maxton Design is pretty mental. Now, what I'll do is I'll leave a discount code in the description down below if I do have one for Maxton. I can't remember if I do. I know I used to, but I don't know if I do now. But if I do, I'll leave it in the description. Um, but anyway, if I don't, I'll leave links anyway down below. So I'm going to try and be as detailed as I can with this video because I feel like I never really be detailed. It's normally just music. So I'm going to try my hardest with that. But before we do get straight into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to today's sponsor, Cloudburst. So this video has been kindly sponsored by Cloudburst. Now, if you watch the channel, you'll know exactly who they are. But if you don't, essentially, they are a high-pressure odor illuminator that gets rid of all odors in your car, office, clothes, home, any sort of place, really. And they essentially smell like popular brands such as One Million Creed and Dior Sauvage. And yes, last time I said Savage and everyone slated me for it. So, yeah, Sauvage. So, as I said, you can use it for your car, which is what I do. You can use them for your home, office, clothing, footwear, anything, really. And you don't really have to use much because they're so high-pressure. If I grab my favorite a minute, which is the One Million, one and open it. Don't know if you can tell, but it is super, super high pressure. And you literally need about two squirts, and that's it. I remember when I first used it, I literally squirted way too much, and uh, it stunk my whole house out for a few days. So uh, only use a few squirts. But the fragrances last literally for a long time. They kill all odors. And what I'll do is I'll leave all links and stuff in the description down below. But that gives you a little bit more information about them. But I'll leave the links in the description down below. Code BB10 for 10% off as well. And if you do order some, let me know or put it on Instagram and tag me. And uh, and that'll be a really cool way of showing your support. But yeah, once again, if you like your cars or like things smelling fresh, go grab yourself some. If you buy them in a bundle, it's cheaper again. And also if you use code BB10 as well, you do save a lot of money compared to just buying one at a time. So I would recommend you go and get this whole box. It comes with three of them, comes with a sticker and uh, a little bit of information about it all. And once again, a massive thank you to Cloudburst for sponsoring today's video. Really do appreciate the support. So I think first of all, what we're gonna do is gonna jack up the car, lift up the bonnet, undo all the top screws, and then we'll undo the side screws as well. Um, so yeah, let's jack the car up first and we'll go from there. <laughs> I love the right sausage with my hair down. So I'm gonna kind of make this a bit of a tutorial video such as actually run through what tools we're using and what size sockets they are. So basically for the, for the top bit here, we basically pulled off the like the weird bit of uh, plastic and then uh, they are T27 Torx pieces along there. We're gonna leave one in there just for a minute so we can undo all the rest of it and then still have it hanging onto the car and then we'll do that last. So I've just pulled this wheel arch liner out. So basically when we put the car back together, I forgot a few of the clips, so I didn't bother putting these screws in. And obviously what's happened is they've caught a bit of wind and teared that, but I've ordered a uh, brand new one anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. What I will do is I'll put this one in for the time being back, but I should have a new one in a few days. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs>
That's beautiful. So just to let you know, the wheel arch line has come out with an 8mm uh, socket and it's the same with all of the bolts across the bottom as well. So all you basically need in order to get the front bumper off is a T27 Torx and an 8mm socket or spanner. So just a quick summary of getting the bumper off. Essentially it's just some T27 Torx pieces across the top. There's a couple of 8 mils in there, 8 mils all around the bottom and then a couple of 8 mils up there and that is literally it, you just pull it off and that is kind of what it looks like ready to put the mesh on. This is literally a brand new radiator, probably a couple of weeks old now, not even that, probably about a week and a bit. Uh, and if you can look here, look, you've got loads of leaves and stuff, you've got already loads of stone chips in it. It's looking pretty bad to be honest, up there is a fairly big stone chip there. Um, it's really not looking that good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this out um, and get rid of all the leaves and stuff. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to measure with my tape measure, which is in my pocket. I'm going to measure the width and uh, the actual length of it as well. And then measure that on some mesh, cut it and zip tie it on. And literally that will just help protect the leaves and stones from getting in the grill. There we have it, what I've done is I've literally just used some wire cutters and just cut along the measurements. So now you can basically push that in there and it should. So with any luck, you should be able to push that down in the gap. And at the minute, obviously it ain't gonna stay there. Um, so that will just go like that. So now we'll grab the zip ties and we'll do a few zip ties around and uh, zip tie that in. But I'll probably measure up that one first and then we'll do that. So this here is kind of what I've gone for. So I basically put the mesh at the back and if you look very carefully like there um, and also there, there's actually zip ties that I've wrapped through the grills. So if I push on this side, that isn't going anywhere, that is solid. There we have it, that is the splitter all installed. Now, at the minute, so some of basically some of the bolts we did the opposite way around just because of the access, uh, but we've done a fair few bolts on there. We're waiting to put the center ones in uh, when we actually put the car back up together. But yeah, I don't think that's gonna go anywhere, um, but yeah, that, that, it should look pretty good. So let's get on the actual car and see what it looks like. So, the actual spur is on and we're currently putting it all back together. We've had a few little teething issues, um, but we are, we are getting there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to catch up with you guys tomorrow, um, or whenever I next film, probably be tomorrow, and I'll show you the car all finished. So guys, it is now the next day, and what I've done is I've actually cleaned the car and brought it up to a really nice scenic location to show you the final product. Now, I do apologise if I didn't actually record much of it, but basically, we were still going when it was completely pitch black. Um, it took a lot longer than we thought. I think it was just because there was a few screws that it was a little bit of a pain to put in, and also getting the alignment perfect and stuff like that, but we, kept, we had a few teething issues, but we did manage to do it. It just proves to you that you don't need to go to a shop. You can do it on your driveway. I mean, I'm only just turned 20 years old, and I can do this so I'm sure anyone could do it really. So that is kind of what it's looking like. It looks absolutely amazing. Like, I'm so happy with that now. Video doesn't really give it much justice, um, but if you look in there as well, you've got the mesh in there. If you can see over there, you've got mesh there, mesh there, and that's already blocked anyway. But yeah, that is looking really nice. It makes the car look a little bit more aggressive and lower as well. So when I do lower it, it'll be very low, but I'm already quite cautious about how low that is. Um, but 
I think it should be alright for the minute. But yeah, I just want to give a massive thank you to Maxton Design for hooking me up with the little care package and also with the front splitter because I've also got their rear spoiler on as well. Um, and if I can't quickly show you that. Look at that for a shot. That is what the rear is looking like at the minute. It looks really, really nice. I'm super happy with it. It's a little bit wet at the minute because I've just gone to the car wash. Um, but the car is coming along. I do think what will finish it off is some side skirts. That's what I think will finish it off. I might wrap these sills as well, like I did on my old car, as well as the side skirts. I'm not too sure, but definitely side skirts. And that will kind of help the side a little bit. And then lowering it as well will make it look a lot better. Well, I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe. Massive thank you to Cloudburst for sponsoring the video and also a massive thank you to Maxon Design for hooking me up on this video. Hopefully we should get some side skirts um, in the near future. That would be really cool to finish off the kind of kit all the way around. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys very soon on a brand new video.